hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's Fomzi here coming to you with another video I started a series called 12 days of foundation find and the reason for this is that I'm looking for a foundation that is basically my holy grail foundation I have a very tall order and also in the process look for foundations that can also work for oily skin I have an oily t-zone and I find it hard you know keeping foundations on my face i also find it difficult finding the correct shade for myself i do have a lighter neck and chest and my face is darker than my neck and chest so i looked i wanted to try some luxury foundations looked around on youtube to find reviews on some of the foundations that i didn't did want to try and there weren't enough uh enough to help me out decide on my shade so that's why i'm doing this i'm going to try all of them out and see which one works uh, for me so if that interests you keep watching so today we are going to be trying out no other foundation than the chantecai future skin foundation this is what the packaging just a nice regular packaging the color is purple it is pretty though i like purple and um and this is what it looks like and i got mine in the shade banana before i start applying i like to give information and facts about the foundation before uh, applying so if you don't want to listen to this just go and skip right on to the application section reading from the chantakai web page it says that it's an oil-free gel foundation with an ultra lightweight refreshing texture the buildable formula provides adjustable coverage while light reflecting pigments eases the appearance of imperfections for a naturally flawless finish it's crafted in japan and this foundation has only 15 shades and um of the 15 shades i got to the third to the last so there are two more shades after me this is banana then there's santana i believe and carob something like that so this foundation has 30 grams which is one ounce the regular size for liquid foundations however this is a gel foundation and it advises you to apply the foundation with uh, a mask brush or you can apply it with your fingertips so that's the advice for this. The foundation is also buildable for extra coverage. And so we'll see how that works as we go on. If I put this on, what I'm going to be looking at is the shade match to me, as well as the shade range. I'll also be looking at the longevity, how long it lasted on my face before the oil started coming out. Um, I'll also be looking at the coverage, medium, full, light, buildable, be looking at that. And I'll also be looking at the finish. So let's jump right in. I'm going to be using the Tom Ford uh, cream foundation uh, brush. Since it's a gel foundation and a cream foundation, I'm going to be using that. And it's O2, the number is O2. So I'm going to use this and scoop some out and then put it on my face. Now start with one side first. I'm just scooping from the top. Mm, it's a little bit light. Ooh, let's see how that fares. It looks a little bit light and ashy. Okay, it did blend to the skin. It's blending smoothly. If you can see that, it's a little bit ashy on my skin. It's not my exact skin color, but it's workable. It's not that bad. And from what I can see, I'll need to put on a bit more 
I can still see my skin through it. And it does, but it does say that it's buildable coverage. So let's see how that works. Oh well, yeah, and I did use this spatula to bring it out. I didn't put my hand inside. After application, this is what it looks like. Um, I did put two pumps, one pump uh, on one side, then one full pump on the other, and it'll soak. I did put two and a half scoop for my face, and it uh, it's really a flawless finish. Like, it's your skin, but better. You're not gonna be able to get this to a full coverage. I tried scooping up some more to put where I have hyperpigmentation, but yeah, it didn't cover it. it. It will cover it a little, but it's not full coverage. But you can definitely build it up a little. So I'm gonna come closer for you to see the finish. I do love the finish, how it looks. And this is one side. And this is the other side. I'm gonna finish putting on my makeup and I'll be right back. This is my final look. So I just put on some eyeshadow, of course, and I put on a bronzer, trying not to disturb the foundation a, a lot. Sorry about that. I know you can hear the noise, so. And that would be what I did. Uh, the rest are on my eyes and on my lips. So um, I forgot to show you the time earlier. The it time was. right now is 4.13. I put the foundation on about an hour ago uh, and I didn't uh, show the time. However, I started at three o'clock, so I'll be back at about seven to give you an update. Hello, I'm checking in right now for the midday check-in to show you how it's going. The time right now is 7.28. That's a little bit after four hours. We started at three, that's about four and a half hours. So just to show you how it's doing and I'm gonna come closer so um as you can see the oils are coming out uh, around my nose and by the side my lifelines here but i don't see any separation and it's actually not a lot um a lot of oils coming out yet so far so good for the four hours it's not separating and just a little bit of the oils coming out so that's it and see you again in about four hours so welcome back i'm here for the final check-in to see how it looks um the time right now is 11 31 and that's basically over eight hours about eight and a half hours and i'm going to come closer for you to take a look and you can see the um oils already i mean my face is oily right now everywhere including here um it's oily all over my face however it is not separating it's not falling off my face so um that's a good thing now my final thoughts um for this foundation i do like this foundation actually it is um it's a natural finish which you can see and it blends very well if you use the right tools, which I did use a cream foundation brush uh, that will work or a mask brush that will work. And uh, it didn't say anything about what skin type it is for, but um, the oil started showing up about an hour later than the ones that I've done before show up. So um, that's a plus. So in terms of uh, shade match, I'll give it a three. In terms of shade range, that's a one. It's only 15 shades, so that's a one. I think they can do better for all the shade ranges. Um, I could also go with one darker, the, the color darker than this one, but I do like this one. 
it blends very well with my skin now as for the coverage it's a uh, medium coverage uh, it's buildable but you're not going to get a full coverage no matter how much you build it um, you're not gonna get a full coverage so the most you can get is a medium coverage out of this foundation um, the finish I love the finish the finish is a three coverage is uh, a two and um, that's it for this foundation and uh, I will see you tomorrow for another one and thanks for watching and if it has been helpful and you're enjoying the content of this video kindly give it a, a thumbs up like and share and consider subscribing to my channel at the button below also I am on Instagram at Fomzy Beauty as well as Facebook at Fomzy Beauty and until next time kisses